What is up, everyone? I've decided uh, that I'll start doing some game reviews. I know I haven't been streaming a lot as of lately. I've just been super busy with my daughter and everything, so <clears throat> please forgive that. I'll be back doing my regular routine as soon as I can, but anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I'll do start doing some game reviews and stuff like that. Just give my personal opinion on it. I'm going to do one tonight called, there's a game called Control. Um, it's, in my opinion, it's a good game. It, to me, it feels a, like infamous mixed with a little bit of Dark Souls in it, if that makes any sense. Uh, I got my platinum tonight in it. It, uh, it's a real, it's fun. It's fun. It's, you know, the action, the story is, it's okay. It's a psychological thriller type of situation, which is, I like games like that, uh, the things, I'll, I'll explain the pros and cons in my opinion, uh, starting with the, the pros, the game engine's really good, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the same people who made this game made that game Quantum Break, correct me if I'm wrong, I apologize if I am, but it's my understanding that it's the same company. I could be wrong, but my understanding, that's what it was. I've never played Quantum Break, so I have no idea. I can't, I don't have any really info on that one, but this game, you know, you're, you're, you go into this, everything takes place in one building called the Older House, the Old House, something like that. <laughs> uh, you gain abilities, uh, different abilities through your course of the game. And the action, the lighting, the the physics, and the physics in the game are well done. I uh, they're extremely well done. The destructibility in the world is pretty amazing, in my opinion. It, it, if you look at it, it kind of looks a little bit like a frostbite engine that they might use. Kind of like if you look at the lighting and everything, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Division 2, but stepped up a little bit, <laughs> stepped up quite a bit. Uh, Division 2 is a really good game as well. I'm a big Tom Clancy fan, so, you know. Uh, yeah, the game, the, like I said, the pros is the, the light, the game engine, the, the lighting. Uh, it has, it, what it looks like it has some live action uh, cinematics, if that's not some of it, if that's not live action, that's almost next gen level, you know, some cinematics that they have in a game. Uh, but it's really well done. Um, the world, the map, the level design, like I said, it takes place in one building called the uh, Federal Bureau of Control. And, you know, the, the place is pretty big, pretty big. I mean, they've got you know, offices, and then they got pump maintenance rooms, research, it's a research division, I mean, it's a federal building of control, so what you're doing is you're, you, you're trying to find your brother, and then you become the director of the FBC, interesting, like I said, the story's good, but not great, which, you know, hey, if the story, if, I don't care if the story is not superb, but if the action and everything else is good, then I, hey, I'm good with that. Um, the characters are pretty good. The main character, as you play as Jesse, it's she's her character's all right. Uh, the, the abilities that you have, you have tele, you have launch, you have levitate, you can actually mind control some enemies to have them fight for you, which is good. I won't dwell too much into the story for you, for some of you that haven't played it yet, but I recommend it, highly recommend it. It's a really good game. Uh, I mean, I, if if the people who made this game do something like make something like this on this current platform, I could see them doing extremely well on next gen. Extremely well. The cons. My biggest con. I'm a big. I'm a big fanboy of New Game Plus. I will be the first to admit that. I love. New Game Plus options. 
the re they, they 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 there was a missed opportunity, unless they put it in later, if they added new game plus in this game. They could they could do it. I know they still could. I wish they would. I hope they do it. But going back to the game, as with all your abilities, would be freaking amazing. I would play the hell out of that game. Uh, that was my biggest gripe per se. Uh, when I going back to earlier when I said it, I felt like it was a mix between Dark Souls and Infamous, just the feel of it the, from the Infamous standpoint, just the feel of it, and I, I love Infamous. I love all the games that they had, even the DLC on PS3. Uh, just the powers. It just had that certain feel. Certain feel. I, I mean, it might be different for everybody else, but to me, it had a certain feel. Uh, which I loved completely. Uh, the Dark Souls element. There's no difficulty setting in the game. Uh, I'm not sure if it's adaptive difficulty. Like, if you start getting your ass kicked, like, over and over and over and over again, if it, if the enemies decrease, I don't think that, I, I don't think that's the case. Uh... The Dark Souls is the, the weakest of enemies that you face, even with your health completely maxed out, can take you out fairly quickly. On the upside of it, when it comes to bosses, bosses are relatively easy, minus one called Mr. Tomasi. The second time you fight him, he is uh, he's a pain in the ass. But like I said, the weakest of enemies, they can hit you one time, two times, maybe three times at max at that, depending where your health level is, and kill you. Now, you gain health back by going to control points. And you can fast, that's how you fast travel, that's how you uh, upgrade your weapons, and, you know, you have weapon mods, and you have uh, per, what they call personal mods for your character that have different buffs to them. I like that. Uh, the upgrade system is really good. Uh, they have a few skins that you can earn uh, by doing certain things. There's a lot of collectibles. There's 120 collectibles in total, uh, which you can get them. Even after you get 120, you can still get more. So they left it very accessible for you to get. Not that if you're going for the, if you're a trophy hunter or achievement hunter, then you have no problem. The game is very accommodating in that aspect. Um, but again, I I liked the game. I enjoyed it. If they had new game plus in it, I would think personally I would play it again over and over. I mean, games like that where you have where you feel overpowered, I, I I enjoy that. It just one of the cons is you get a one ability later on in the game. Like I said, if they had a new game plus in there, you can go back and you you be OP, you be ripping them up. But even so, even with all all those abilities and everything upgraded. You can still get your ass handed to you. For example, when you're fighting one of the bosses or any of the bosses, they always have a weak point to them. There's a, it, it's it's very interesting. Like one, you have to use your launch ability to, where you throw stuff, and if you hit like the side of them, it takes off a little bit of damage. If you hit like a eye of them or a certain point of them, it takes off a quarter, maybe a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good game. For any of you gamers out there that have not played it yet, I know I'm a little late to the party on this game. came out late, late last year. But, you know, I've been so busy, I just haven't had the time to really play some of the games. I'm just now starting to play Outer Worlds. You know, it's a fun game, too, I think. Uh, Bethesda could take a few notes from Obsidian, to be honest with you. But anyway, it's a great game. I'm not knocking Bethesda or nothing like that. They're still a decent developer. They just need to, they got some things they need to work on. But that's neither here nor there. Again, uh, if you haven't played this game, play it. You'll enjoy it. Uh, it, it the, they made this game for you to explore. Oh, another icon. The map sucks. I'm not talking about the level design. I'm talking about the map. It's Metroidvania-style map. But you cannot, you cannot zoom in. You cannot uh, create a custom waypoint. There's no waypoints to tell you where you go, or anything like that. However, with that being said, there are signs telling you go. This is where maintenance is, or this is where, <coughs> this is where research is. That that helps. That helps. But the thing I didn't care for the game 
on this aspect was you cannot zoom in on the map. You're like looking at it. If you're playing on a small TV, good luck. But you know how if y'all any of y'all have played um, Jedi Fallen Order, it's a Metrovania style map. But at the same time, you could actually zoom in, look at the different levels, things of that nature. You know, this one you're walking around trying to find a place, and you're, and it's just one 2D map right there, right in front of you, and you're just like, okay, is this? Well, how do I, you think you're there? But then you're like, okay, well that's on the that's either on the third floor or that's on the in the and down in the pump room or something like that. I didn't like the map. I think they need to do something, to, you know, if they're, they're not going to do anything about it now, but I know they have some DLCs coming out, expansions in March, so hopefully they change something. Hopefully New Game Plus. But if any of you haven't played it, I recommend it. It's still a fun game. It's still uh, very entertaining. Uh, it's Some of the characters are forgettable. Some of them are just like, whoa, okay. Uh, combat... Uh, is fun uh it's just a different type of game you know i don't know if quantum break was like i guess i've never played that game so i don't know i think that dwelled more into like time stopping time and stuff like that i think but this one is this one's different it's the, the environment is eerie uh you know like i said it takes place in one building so you're going from you know executive suites down to maintenance down into caves and it's just it's just weird and it, apparently the place is set in new york who knows uh but anyway you know again uh i just want to let's try to make this a little bit shorter than this but you know time goes by fast but if any of you haven't played it yet or are on the fence about playing this game i would give it a shot it's it's a good game it's fine it's fine you'll enjoy it it's not it's not too difficult even with having not a difficulty on because eventually, you know, with like Dark Souls, for example, eventually you learn how their routine is, how their pattern is, and things like that. And you'll know uh, exactly how to go into each situation with a good understanding of what, you know, you might have messed up before on the previous try if you've died. So, again, play the game. I would give it a 9 out of 10 if I was to rate it. Uh, I had to deduct a point because of the map. The map is is garbage that metrovania i have not a problem with a metrovania style map but not being able to zoom in and not be able to have like have it like a 3d ish or at least you know have it resident evil style where you can actually hit a, hit your d-pad and check each floor i don't like that that was kind of crap uh there's a different whole there's the, the for being in a building it's very massive and you know each section is it's it's going to be a different experience in each each area you go to uh as one that works in office and in, in an office building one i can tell you it's pretty good you know when it comes to how you know because some developers they make games in the office building is very generic i mean it's very detailed uh just from like you know maintenance doors or you know, just office doors and how the office is set up. It's really neat. And it's also fun when you get an ability, you go in there and you have an ability where you can just destroy a whole room and you see papers flying, you know, wood chips going everywhere and things like that. It's really cool. You'll have a good time with it. Anyway, well, that was my minor review of uh, Control. Check it out. Have a good one.